me off guard All of my friends said you moved out west You tell me stories underneath sunsets Could it be more than just one night? Kissing the cab right, head turning left right Get a ticket for two to wherever you choose Drinking some red out of the blue You say my name with your accent Makes me remember how this morning. Um, I've never missed a flight in my entire life of traveling. Even when um, I was traveling to college and everything, never missed a flight. But what happened was Hawaii time's actually one hour ahead, but a day behind. So it's really close to New Zealand time. And my calendar alerted me that our flight was at 9.40. We'd gotten it really late at night, so I just believed it. And then actually our flight was at 8.40. So we got to the counter and we we're like, we're checking for Queenstown. And she said that our flight just closed. So kind of a bummer, but luckily enough there was space on the next flight, so we were heading out at around 125. But it was kind of nice because we checked the weather. It's raining in Queenstown, but it's beautiful here in Auckland. So we took an Uber into the city. We are having brunch at this beautiful spot called Urban Soul. And we're about to have a nice big breakfast, and then there's a mall across the street that we're going to check out and then head on to Queenstown. We actually have a reservation at an onsen, like a, well, I guess it's like a traditional Japanese bathhouse, but it's like the New Zealand Queenstown version. So we have our own little private onsen to enjoy, um, which is nice because in Queenstown it's about 48 degrees, I just checked. And then we have a reservation at a local restaurant in town. So we'll check in with you when we get our food here at Urban Soul. much I missed you. Hope you're planning to stay for a million days. We just got here. I got the chicken and waffles. And Holden, what'd you get? The big breakfast. He got like a breakfast platter with some sausage, eggs, and potatoes, and everything. This looks so good. So we finally made it to Queenstown. We're in our rental car now. It's kind of weird because um, they drive on the left side of the road here, which we didn't think would be that big a deal, but for Holden, it's really weird. But we are, because we missed our flight this morning, our schedule got kind of mixed up and so now we are going straight to the onsen pools which are this really cool thing I found on Instagram and you can book them during the day or you can book them at night. I booked 4.30 because by the time I figured it out that was like one of the last spots available but it actually worked out perfectly because the only flight we were able to get today after we missed our first one was at 1.25, got it at 3.30 and our appointment is at 4.30. Trust my intuition boys. Onsen. We are in room two. Here's what it looks like. It's such a chilly day, which is perfect for these hot springs. We have a view right over Shadow River. We also get all kinds of snacks and drinks. In the room, there's also a shower. And this roof is actually retractable, so you can put it down as well. I got my ticket to the west side You say my name with your accent Makes me remember how much I missed you Hope you're planning to stay for a million days You'll be my summer in December So I just sat down at the flame bar um, I think we're gonna get the flame mixed grill Which has like a little bit of everything and have a really nice view from our table. Hey guys, enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. Our food is here. This is ribeye sausage. Uh, I think this is like a half rack of ribs. I don't know, it might be a full rack of ribs. And then peri peri chicken with a side salad. We also got some rice pilaf. 
but I'm excited to dig into this. How is it? Good. Super good. We're gonna check out Patagonia. See if we can find some yummy treats. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you've been through. Why you got scars? Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you. Cause I feel you. What's the story to tell? What's the story behind the mountain you're trying to climb? Think I've heard it before in a movie line. We can ride our own end in the sky. Here on Crown Ridge Road, we stopped at this beautiful lookout to just enjoy the view. Um, we are on our way to Wanaka right now. Um, I want to find some of the beautiful purple flowers. Um, they're called wild lupins. I can't get over like New Zealand, Queenstown. I just keep wanting to pull over like every five minutes. It's so beautiful. Okay, we are now in Wanaka. We're on Lake Wanaka and I've pretty much come to the conclusion that this is the prettiest place ever. Well, I've been to a lot of pretty places, but this is definitely on the list. Um, it is so beautiful here, peaceful. And wherever that little bay is down there, I want to find it. Oh, this is so nice. I'm so glad we took the drive out here. This is not on the map. We honestly stumbled upon this because we just got caught at a dead end. And then we followed this guy who was walking down here because he looked like he knew what's up. And it's just a really, really pretty area. We're walking here on the rocks. I want to go to that little cove that I found. All right, the work we do to get a photo. He's gonna try to get all the way to the end. There's a lot of algae on these Slippery? Yeah. <laughs> this water, by the way, ice cold. Wanaka Lavender Farm. It was so beautiful. Just wait till I edit those pictures. Now we are here at a place called Hook Lake to Plate. So you actually um, like catch salmon on a fishing pole and then they cook it for you and you eat it right then and there. We're not hungry, so I'm not sure if we're actually going to do this, but we just wanted to come check it out because it was right next to the lavender farm. If you don't want to kill it, please bring it back pretty quickly in the box and we kill it for you. I'll let it kill it. Okay. I'm not yeah, killing okay, it. I'm not killing it. any fish. Um, so here's your box. Are you right or left handed? Right handed. We, we went and kind of explored it. We're not hungry, but... They're, they will vacuum seal it for you, um, for you to either take it home, but we actually are camping next, um, tomorrow night actually. So if we catch a fish, which apparently is not so easy to do as I thought, um, we'll actually take it back to our campsite and then we'll like cook it on the grill tomorrow. So we have given ourselves an hour if we find, um, can you tell my fishing lingo is so off? If we catch a fish in the next hour, we will take it home. If we don't, then it was a fun experience. But it's only $5 if you want to just fish. So it's not that expensive, even if we don't catch anything. So wish us luck. Hopefully we find a fish. But if we get more than one, you actually have to take them all because um, there is no catch and release here. <laughs> not bad. That's not bad. Okay, now do, I, now do I fish it in? Fish it in. Do you have one? No? Mm. This is truly hurry up and wait. We've had a couple bites. No fish so far. But hopefully, maybe, hopefully soon.
Okay, we got one on the line. Let's see if we can get it in here. Okay. I got the net. I see it. Oh, I see it. Okay, I'm here. Here, here, here. Over here. Oh. <laughs> Away. <laughs> scoot, scoot. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna lose it and then you're gonna be all disappointed in me. Sweet our fish to 1.08 kilograms. So it's basically like 20 pounds. <laughs> How much is that in pounds? It's like pounds. <laughs> and so we just caught one fish. We thought about staying longer and catching another, but realistically, you probably can't eat it. And you can do all these different things with it. So you can get hot smoked, sashimi, cold smoked, filleted whole in a, or, and then there's takeaway. So you can get it in a box, wrapped in brown paper, vacuum packed or chiller bag. Thank you. Thank you. We are grocery shopping for our glamping adventure in Moak Lake. And so we got some things to eat with our salmon that we caught yesterday. We got some, mushrooms, tomatoes, corn. I just got an orange for like a snack. We also got some fresh juice. Then we got, um, for breakfast we got some sausage, eggs, P.S. Did you know that they don't refrigerate eggs here? So we got some salad to go with one of our dinners, some cherries to snack on, fresh blueberries for breakfast or to snack on. Got some butter as well as some nuts and then just some chips that hold them through in here to snack on as well. So I think we're gonna check out and then go back to the campsite. So we just got to Pedro's House of Lamb. We decided even though we can grill, we really wanted to go to this place. So this is where, oh, left side. Okay, thank you. Pedro's Hello. House of Lamb. <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna let us see how this all works. It's Lamb shoulder. Wow. Look at that face. This is the scalloped potatoes. That's hungry? Yes, now we are. <laughs> Gravy. Oh, look at that. Looks so good. Pure land juice. We're on our way to go glamping. We're driving up, and there are these huge, beautiful mountains and all these sheep. To your eyes, I see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got too high This is the geodome that we will be staying in the next two nights and this is our view. So nice up here. Super peaceful and quiet. We are just by ourselves. This is our geodome. So we have a nice set of chairs and a table. We have a gorgeous view over Moak Lake, and then 
we have our bed, little cooler, um, a little couch and futon. Then we just have like a little guide to everything here. Holden is outside checking out the grill and um, where we can our shower and everything like that. But this is where we will be staying. I am so excited to just veg out and relax and enjoy the view of the lake. We drove down to the campsite. You can see our tent all the way right there. I don't know if you can see it, but we are just gonna go for a little walk along the lake. The sun doesn't set here until like 9.30 during the summertime, which is so nice. These horses came all the way over for us. Hi, horse. I wanted to feed him some grass, but decided that's probably not the best idea. Hi, horsey. Dinner is served. We have lamb potatoes, side salad, some cherries for later, and then just a little sunflower oil and Himalayan salt. Okay, it's 9.30. We're getting ready for bed. The sun's still out, but I think it's about to be sunset. And all of these sheep are around our geodome. Just staring at us. <laughs> We're literally counting sheep as we go to sleep. Okay, 7.30 a.m. And this little duck family swimming through the lake. We are heading out to the lake. Holden is going to go try to catch us a trout or something. We'll see if we can catch anything. He got a fish! Holden Trouty. got a fish. It's a trout? Oh my gosh! I got a trout! I got a trout! Okay, we have another fish on the line. Oh, he says jump up! Oh, it's a little tiny one! Oh, it's a little trouty! Breakfast is served. We got toast my side. Eggs, sausage, fresh pressed juice, blueberries, cherries, a little side salad, and some extra butter just in case. We're inside the dome because it's pretty chilly this morning but enjoying the view. And I just wanted to show you we also stopped at the bookstore when we went to Queenstown and I got this um, home growth. <laughs> I was going to say home birds. Three birds renovation book. It's an Australian book and it was at this really cute little bookshop right in the heart of town so I'm definitely going to read that. It looks so cute. cute. And then um, obviously we're doing like two renovations right now on our houses so this will be perfect. I also got this book. It's called F No. How to Stop Me Saying Yes When You Can't, You Shouldn't, or You Just Don't Want To. I read other Sarah Knight books and this is her latest one, so I thought I would give that a read. There's no cell reception up here, um, no Wi-Fi, no anything. So since we're unplugged, I thought I'd read a couple books. It's time to cook our salmon. This is the salmon that we caught at Hook in Wanaka. Um, pretty sure I've been calling it Wanaka this entire vlog, but I have been corrected. It is Wanaka, so we're just... All we really have here is salt and pepper and butter and sunflower oil. So we're just doing salt and pepper on the salmon and we shall see how it is. Okay, the salmon's going on the grill. The corn on the cob is on the grill as well. And then we also have some mushrooms we're going to grill up. We have more corn, which we may or may not need. Grill some tomatoes and then we're going to toast some bread. Just because we have it, probably wouldn't eat bread with salmon otherwise but might as well eat up what we have and just enjoying this beautiful evening on Moak Lake. We actually had some cows that came to say hi. Right here. Yesterday we had like a total sheep 
population that was like living outside of our dome today, it is cows. Okay, so the salmon is really good. Mushrooms came out awesome. Um, the corn is really, really good as well. Butter, um, buttered toast is just always good, but we were a little nervous about the salmon being fishy, but it's delicious. I had Holden like, kind of looks weird because I had him grill the other side just because I like a crispy crust on top, but so good. So we decided to come fishing one last time. When you're in New Zealand, you can get a license for 24 hours or longer. So we just got a 24 hour one, but check out how beautiful this moon is over the mountain. More horsies came to say hello. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful here. Gaddy, which is in the heart of Queenstown. This is the ricotta pancakes, and then Holden got the patty breakfast, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, we're gonna share both over easy eggs, mushrooms, and a coconut flat white. So we just made it to Arrowtown, which is this historic mining town. It's about 15 or 20 minutes from Queenstown. This is what it looks like. All the buildings are so cute and old timey. And I'll just take you on a little tour through the town. We finished up with all the shops and everything. And we're just taking a walk around the city. This is the public library right here. And this is a little park. One of the things that Arrowtown is proud about is that there are actually like no chains here. So there's no chain restaurants, there's no like um, chain stores. All the buildings are really historic, super cute. Museums, restaurants, bookstores. This is a little bakery right in there. You can sit down and enjoy your food. So we are still in Arrowtown. We actually came here because we had one last day in Queenstown and we kind of explored that whole town. We just wanted a little day trip. So Airtown was perfect because it's about 15, 20 minutes away and then it's right past the airport. So to get back to the airport, it's probably going to be like 10 or 15 minutes. But before we're going to eat dinner here, we came across the street and there is this beautiful river and there's a whole walkway alongside it. So I think we're just going to explore it a little bit. It's really peaceful. just landed from Queenstown here at the Auckland International Airport. We're about to board our flight to Honolulu. Thank you so much for watching and coming along with us on our trip. It's been an amazing, amazing time. We were only here for five nights, six days, but it ended up being a perfect amount of time. We were able to relax, get away, enjoy ourselves, have a little bit of adventure. I had no idea that New Zealand was gonna be as beautiful as it was. We kept having to pull over on the side of the road just for me to take pictures and take videos and just enjoy all the scenery and the beauty and it was so incredible. So if you haven't been to Queenstown but you're thinking about it, I highly recommend it. But thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, stay in the know about new vlogs and future videos and I will see you next time. Bye. Trust my intuition, boys. I'm not superstitious. I got lucky. Stole your heart and it was not for the taking.